Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to Vomac TV. My name is Miles Parrish. Today we're gonna to be answering some Instagram questions about my new album, 680 South. Let's get it. Wow. First question and first submission actually from Cinead all the way in Dublin, Ireland. What's good, Cine? Uh, She wants to know what's your favorite song on the album? Probably Dixie Cup. It just feels good. I love the lyrics. I love the melodies and um, yeah, I think that one's just been my favorite one from the jump. That was like sort of like one of the first songs that we made that was more like country leaning inspired. And um, I made that one with Lost Boy. And uh, yeah, I think that's probably, I would say my favorite song on the album. Comment below, what's your favorite song on the album? What inspired you to name the album 680 South? It's one of my favorite little sunset drives back through, you know, the Tri Valley right there. And um, it's just got a good energy. It's also one of my favorite uh, Story So Far songs. It kind of sounds like a little more desertish, deserty kind of country-ish too, so yeah. How long did it take you to make this album start to finish? It's fire, by the way. Yo, thank you, I really appreciate it. Um, it's I started making it in January of 2020. And so I think I finished the last song. Yeah, I wanna say probably January, so like a whole, like a full year. Hello, Armat, are you hydrated? Yes, thank you. Noelia Nancy, did you know it's my favorite album? Thank you. Did you use all the songs you wrote for the album or did you make some cuts? Um, there was a couple that uh, didn't make the album. There was a song that sounded sort of similar to You Is Never Sorry. And so I liked You Is Never Sorry better. And so I just felt like I'll set this one to the side and then yeah. Why wasn't there a TBH Felicia feature? <laughs> we definitely tried to reach out and um, just her her feature price was just way out of our budget, so we, we had to pass on that. What song are you most excited to perform live? I was so, so excited to perform 680 South. Just the opening track is gotta be the very first song we come out to. Just like that whole intro in the beginning and they just come out, oh, 680 South. <laughs> I feel like just having that energy just right off the bat to start the show, I feel like it'd just be so lit. Will there be a tour this year? I really hope so. I'm, I'm hoping that we could put something together. If not, maybe it's like a live stream show again. But man, if anything, Hyphy Holidays. We gotta do a Hyphy Holidays. I think hopefully by the end of the year, you know, things will be cool, safe for everybody to get outside. So I would definitely love to do a, a run. Even if it's a small one, I would love to go and play this. So we're gonna see what we can do. What color do you associate with the album? I would probably say like around this color, the little like like tan-ish desert kind of vibe, I would say. Please tell me the story behind Dumb. Man, um, the story's in the song. Uh, I feel like a lot of the lyrics in there, are, I'm just pulling exactly from just real life experience. Um, but yeah, sometimes I just, uh, not sometimes, pretty much all the time, I, I just, I fall in love too fast. And that's kind of just what it is. And sometimes it ends up kind of crazy, but hey, it happens. What was the easiest and the hardest song to create? I would say the easiest to create was You Is Never Sorry. I feel like all the lyrics and everything, as soon as I found that guitar sample, that whole entire song just like fell out. The hardest song to create, maybe 680 South. I think that maybe I was just sort of overthinking it. And I was just like, nah, I can't really say that. Like people were not gonna be able to connect to it or whatever. And then I would sort of just go back and forth with it. And then I was like, you know what? I know how I feel as soon as I like figured this little chorus out. And it just made me hype. Once I figured out like, oh, all right, just don't ever think it. Like just go off energy, like feeling. Then it like made it easier for me to write it. But um, yeah, maybe in the beginning of that song, I was kind of, going back and forth with it. Which video do you plan on filming soon? Uh, we're gonna shoot a video for You Is Never Sorry. And so we've kind of started planning out uh, the details and location and everything for that. So uh, we should be shooting that within the next couple weeks. Couple weeks, like if you're seeing this video now, I think in the next couple weeks we'll be filming it. 
Are you gonna do an online concert for 680 South? By the way, I love your song, Saddle Rack. If we're not able to do a tour this year, I think that we'll definitely try to do some sort of live performance again. Um, the Happy Holidays one was really fun last year and just special, you know what I'm saying? And I think we would love to do something like that this year. It'd be fun to do it like doing a live performance like out in the desert or something, you know what I mean? Or at like a little country western bar or something like that. Might be kind of clean. Which song embodies your life at this moment in time? I would definitely say pop out, you know what I'm saying? Well, it feels like we're just now getting on the other side of this pandemic. And yeah, I'm, I'm definitely ready to pop out and just gig. You know, summertime's coming up and everything too. So I'm hoping that um, everything is safe for everybody. And yeah, just get into some summer activities. What are some of the things that sparked your creativity when making this album? Definitely pulled from this idea of what a sideshow would sound like in the middle of the desert. Right, I think when just from the very beginning, I really just focused on the production of it and pulled Western sounding instruments, anything like country inspired. I really just try to pull them together, do my own drums under them, just a little function and country kind of cross. And then just yumper, just pure yumper. This, this is a good one right here. Kay said, what are your top 680 South exits? My number one is definitely Alcosta. That's just like taking me right to Vomac. You know, the, there's a Lord's ice cream over there now, which is fire, Mount Max Pizza. Um, but yeah, that was just my exit when I lived on Vomac. And so definitely Alcosta, I'll say Crow Canyon is number two. I was going to Golden Skate, working over there, had a good time and uh, probably Olympic in Walnut Creek. And getting to go to Red House, Come on, man, Red House. And uh, getting to go to shows out there. So that's probably like my top three. 680 South, the album is out now. Go check it out, Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, SoundCloud, YouTube, all that. New music video coming soon. Thank you guys so much for everything. I appreciate all the support with it. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Yee! Okay, 680 South, I'm on. Hit the gas and I'm out and I'm gone, yeah. Side show in the desert with my truck